Well, I open it up just a brief summary, I guess, about the blue team. You know, these games are interesting. You know, you you, you like to see when you break up offense and defense, uh, who's going to make plays when they're playing with different guys. And the games, they get, the game's always been the same. You know, football's always been the same. It's about blocking, tackling, and, and catching. And early on, you know, we didn't do a good job of, of really all three. And uh, we can do a better job putting them in great positions as coaches. And uh, but I, I think overall. You know, as a spring, from a spring standpoint, you know, obviously blue gold game, blue did not get the W, uh, so disappointed for us. But um, overall, as a spring, I think our team and our defense uh, and a linebacker position for me specifically really grew, and uh, that's what you're really looking for out of spring. This is a culmination of the whole thing. Should be a celebration of all their hard work. I think it was, and you know, again, blue came up a little short, uh, but again, those are those are those are doing the things, the little things that are going to help you win, like tackling and. And I'll tell you what, from a defensive stand standpoint, I'm really glad that we've got number 10 on our team and I don't have to see him uh, during the season. I can tell you that. So, questions, anything? Elijah was the, uh, the most improved defensive player of spring. Uh, the guy who started last season, right? I mean, he was a starter and now he's the most improved. What did he do this spring that, that stood out so much to you guys? Well, I think he just continues to learn. You know, one a big word we've got in our in our team room is knowledge, and he continues to increase his knowledge, and that's a big jump. It's a big jump. Yeah, he played linebacker safety in high school, but it's a big jump coming to Division One and, and having to do that at our level. And he's done it at a high level, and he and he's competed. He was going to be our starter last year, at least be in the mix to start. We're going to rotate guys, and he's continued to learn. And now he's you know he's even moved positions again. He's gone into the boundary backer spot again, very similar. They got the same rules, but. Uh, again, for him, coming from wide out, for him it's like a whole new world. And he's done a great job. So we, 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 will, we will be very glad to have him back for an entire season. Well, he can play both. I mean, to be honest with you, he's going to rotate and, and get a lot of action because he'd love to rotate six, seven backers in during the season. So to be honest with you, he's going to rotate to both. Obviously, he didn't play today, but you guys expect him to have him for fall camp. It's not the major. No, yep, he'll be back and he'll be full strength, which is good. And that's, you know, you can't. Knock on wood, but he'll he'll be back for the season, which will be nice. It's tough to, to evaluate guys who are not going one v one to that when you mix up teams like this in the spring. You know, it's not. I, I can't speak for the offense in terms of you know blocking and all those things, but again, it still it still comes down to your one on one battle. You know, whether you're an old lineman, whether you're a corner, whether you're a linebacker, are you doing your job? Are your eyes are where they're supposed to be? Are you playing with great technique? All those things, I think, you, know, you kind of block out everything around them. And are they playing at a high level and doing the things and using the tools that you gave them as a coach? I think that's what you're looking at in these type of games. And again, it's still all the same. They got to execute whatever you call, offensive play, defensive play. So, you know, I wouldn't, I, like I told, told our guys pregame, you know, it's not about, oh, you haven't played with this linebacker, or you haven't played with this old lineman. Do your job and execute your job at a high level because, you know, this game mattered. It mattered to them and their personal growth. It matters to the depth chart. So I think you know we're, we're locking in and watching those guys with a fine tooth comb, even in this game. How good do you see from the guys you had trying to cover? We have seem to do a pretty good job. Right now. Well, I think they're executing with their technique. To be honest with you, you know they're getting hands on. They're keeping their eyes where they're supposed to be. Uh, they're they're contesting routes. They're contesting throws. Uh, they're not letting guys get inside on them, and, and they're taking away guys' strengths which they should know his strengths, right, because they played against him and they play against him every day. So it's nothing more. When we, when we win on either side of the ball on a play, it's because guys execute at a high level. I mean, no, you know, they were just playing their sides, playing their sides and playing as it comes. And we had faith that the, both of them could handle them. Rob, I know it's not all you wanted for head coach maybe to go, but considering that the goal team had like all 11 starters coming back from the start of last year on their side, do you, are you okay with the way you guys competed and kind of you know made it interesting a little bit at the end? I think you know the film. The film will always tell the tale. It's never as good as it seems, never as bad as it seems. So we'll see. But I think the energy was there. I think it was up there, and you know we competed, and field position was an issue. You know, like it always is in a football game, field position, uh, and guys really produced, and we got to make more plays, and, I, and that goes for our entire team, and, and especially on D, we got to make better tackles in space, and you know it didn't go as well. Good news is. My coaching debut is now over, and Coach Narduzzi can now take the reins again, which is good. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? Coach, did the, did the blue coaches, <coughs> do they join the blue players eating the, the picnic food as kind of the consolation? Yes, <laughs> unfortunately, okay, we get to eat hot dogs and beans, and we're going to be right there with them. We're going to be right there with them because we were part of that just as much as, uh, as they were. That's tonight.
That is the next time we eat lunch, I believe, or, or when we're as a team.